So yes, the candidate Q&A portion, this is one of the most important parts of uh, Congress. Um, this is where you get to ask the candidates your questions. They will have the same amount of time to respond. It's typically going to be about a minute per response. Um, that is because we only have about 75 minutes. We have 14 candidates, do the math. Um, sometimes I'm going to be the decision maker on how long the responses are. Um, and the questions are just going to come directly from the audience. Uh, we didn't have any ones that were written, uh, submitted. So we're just going to take them, uh, raise your hand, and we will call upon you. Um, with your questions, um, sometimes it's good to have a little bit of background with your question, uh, but please keep that to a minimum. Um, keep, we don't need, uh, well, I won't say we won't need, but um, multi-part questions, um, they can, uh, in this format, it's not the best format for that. So unless there, it's a short multi-answer, uh, try to keep your questions to one point. And with that, um, we have our candidates here. Uh, I'm going to uh, pass the microphone around and allow each of them to introduce themselves, and then we'll move forward. Thank you. Do you just want name and school? Name and school, sure. Sure. My name is Catherine Salantano. I'm the president of Columbia University's chapter. My name is Annie Hulafel. I'm the president of the University of Cincinnati chapter. Uh, my name is Jason Ortiz. I'm originally from the University of Connecticut, but currently living in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Hello, my name is Curtis Jackson. I am the media and um, um, guy for my chapter at Roosevelt. My name is Sam Tracy, and I'm from the University of Connecticut. My name is Scott Humphreys, and I founded and acted as president of the College of Charleston chapter. Hi, my name is Kellen Rusiniello. I am the president and founder of GW Law SSCP. Oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tangle anybody up. My name is Stephen Duke, and I'm the president of the University of Arkansas Fayetteville chapter. My name is Bob Nichols, and I'm president of the chapter at Georgetown Law. Georgetown! Hey, everyone. I'm Graham DeBar. I'm the founder and director of SSTV Ireland. Hi, my name is Fernando. I'm from Mexico City, from the UNAM, the Institute of Social and Politics and Science. Hi, I'm Sabrina Carnaglum, and I was the former president of the Florida Atlantic University chapter. Hi, I'm Jeremy Orbach. I'm the founder and president of the Northern Illinois University chapter of Students for Sensible Drug Policy. All right, thank you, candidates. All right, I'm going to have to do some talk show work out here in the front. <laughs> um, all right. So, um, this is a pretty simple process. Just raise your hands, I will call upon you, and stand up. Uh, if you want to introduce yourself, you may, um, but then you know, direct your question uh, to the candidates. Uh, each of them will respond. Well, yeah, she just introduced me, don't really have to do that. Um, I have a question for Jeremy. You talked a lot about technology, and that was totally awesome. Um, just uh, not to interrupt, but um, the, the questions will be asked that way. You may have someone specific in mind, but uh, please ask the question broad enough that all the candidates may respond. Thank you. Sorry about that. No here in the front. So um, I guess for everybody, what are some examples of how direct action can be applied for your chapter you being on the board? Uh, we're going to start with Jeremy on this one, and I'm going to start at random points. We're just going to go down the line, like in the serpentine manner. Will you repeat the question? Yeah, Would you repeat the question? So that would be helpful for all. So the question I had was, how do you see direct action being a, or let me rephrase it, how how can you on the board? see yourself using direct action as a means of making change. All right, so how can a board member utilize direct action as a means of change? We have Jeremy, and we go down the board. What is direct action? Yeah, can I, yeah, I, I think the, the candidates should answer that. Yeah. Okay. yeah, the uh, direct action will be interpreted by the candidates. Um, each candidate will have a minute to respond. Um, so direct action to me is being able to actually impact what's going on on your campuses. And I feel like that is one of the things we need to focus on on board of directors is being able to be there for you guys and helping to establish that whatever your issues are, we can help them. And from a personal standpoint, I really want to, as I said with technology, I want to help create like a template for a website that we can give to every chapter. Um, I want to use a lot of my computer science knowledge and put it to 
uh, work for SSDP and help bring some more efficiency to how SSDP operates. <coughs> So direct action, from my understanding, is sort of the Greenpeace perspective, and I have done some, a small amount of work with Greenpeace, but I do know a lot of people who work there fairly well. And they're very, very good at it, and they're very good at what they do. And I think that's one of the areas that we can absolutely learn from, or, from environmental organizations, because we have not been very confronting towards our opposition. We've been very political, and we played the, pol of the political game incredibly well, but I think that you know, there are times where we do have to go up in arms and do a barricade or leave a banner on a DEA building and tell them our message and let them know that we are here to get them. Well, direct action to me sounds like you want to reach people, like in the first place, like people on the streets. And I think the better way to achieve that is is like going like yelling, or I don't know, like with art or something in public this place, sorry, or the social networking like Facebook, YouTube, I don't know, call people attention because cause we what we need is information to have the society from to well another side. Uh, yeah, well, the direct action for me is taking the initiative to create your own projects. Uh, one project I'm working on in SCP Ireland is doing a documentary on medical cannabis and comparing the Denver model um, we have here and bringing it back home. Uh, another project I'll be working on is Know Your Rights, another documentary I'll be doing uh, with police and the Gardaí Síochána in Ireland. And on top of that, there'll be poster campaigns and uh, I will really like those wall cards that you had done in SCP, so I'll do my own ones in Ireland as well. Thanks. I was thinking uh, direct action in terms of both as a, as a board member or as a chapter leader, you know, both on campus and in the broader community. Um, it's really important to, to be upfront about your views and, and about the, the logic and the common sense reasons that we feel the way we do. And being really open about this and talking to a lot of people. Um, I remember one time I was at a party and um, I guess but me being the SSDB chapter president, sort of got around and somebody came up to me and said, um, you know, I, I really like what you do, like, you know, I really appreciate that. And somebody else who I was talking to said, well, what's he talking about? And I sort of hesitated for a second and I said, I'm an evangelist for marijuana. And the, the sort of first gave me a weird look and I was like, and then, okay, yeah, yeah, that's cool. But um, I think that's the important thing to, to evangelize. Wait, okay. just, sorry, just to clarify, uh, Brandon is keeping time. Did we mention that? And ten seconds, you know, really like this. Okay, great. Okay, so direct action to me is uh, is truly empowering the student base and also the community. And I guess an example of how we did that on on our campus was uh, implementing or passing the Safer Initiative. Uh, it received 67% of the student vote, uh, but then also holding an organized protest after working with them and, the, and having the chance to repeal the changes that had already been made. Um, but also. Uh, that's through, you can do it through education, and that's been one of my biggest focus, and our chapter's biggest focus, is bringing these people to come speak on campus, educate the community, kind of remove these stereotypes you deal with on a southern uh, college campus. And uh, that's why I also want to create a, a network of support um, for chapter members who are maybe overwhelmed with creating an event or a debate or something like that, something, some type of database where essentially you could put all the info surrounding your event, uh, how you contacted the speaker, uh, the flyers you used, the ways you advertise, things like that, so it could really provide support for people who are overwhelmed by starting a new chapter or holding events. Stop. My name is Andrew Livingston. I'm from Colgate University in uh, Central West New York. Um, so I think direct action, particularly in some of the ways that Greenpeace does it, can be very, very tricky, especially for a student drug policy organization. Uh, what we want to do and what one of our primary things we have been doing in recent uh, years is changing the stigma associated with young drug policy activists and particularly breaking laws and especially publicly smoking in order to break laws uh, can be detrimental to our cause. But looking at direct action in the form of um, aligning students not only with policy changes and activism on their uh, chapter and on their school level but also state and national, um, I think board members uh, can serve really as an important nexus and individuals who had experience as chapter leaders and now onto the national stage to coordinate with different individuals and different chapter leaders in different states 
to align them with those individuals who are running policy campaigns that they're interested in. Sorry. <laughs> um, there should be a little bit more line now. Yeah, yeah I think we are. Right. Um, in my view, in, in the context of the board of directors, um, there's not going to be very much direct action. It's going to be mo mostly focused on fundraising and diversity outreach. Direct action should be left to the chapters, and of course we should develop resources for the chapters to be able to um, most effectively utilize direct action and coordinate direct action. But being on the board is more about uh, broad strategic goals and um, helping facilitate individual chapters' ability to do direct action. Um, yeah, I'll be so another. Um, yeah, so the idea of direct action I think is important, but as Helen said, it's um, it's kind of not specifically left to the board, but I think it's also really important to talk about because where we're coming from is really important. Um, so as you're saying, diversity, uh, diversity outreach is something that we really need to look into. Um, it's something I'm really passionate about. I spoke briefly about it last night. Um, just reaching out to the uh, addicted community. When we look around, that's not mostly the people that we see at our conferences. Um, and I think that there needs to be a lot more support coming out of uh, our chapters, our chapter leaders. I think we can uh, do a lot more outreach in that direction. Um, so as far as direct action in that sense. But additionally, I think it's just being an ear to listen to someone um, when they need to. So uh, even on a just a basic level, anyone you're going up to talk to about drug policy or any, anything, um, whether they uh, <laughs> whether they support our cause or not, I think it's really important to uh, just be there to listen. All right. To me, direct action is actually passing laws and changing.